Hey guys, Lisa here. Today I'm going to show you the basics of how to set up a Google Classroom and to do some navigating as well. So from your Google Home screen here, obviously you have to have a Google account. You're just gonna go up here to what Google calls the waffle. You're gonna enter Google Classroom, this is the symbol right here. Okay, now I, my screen's gonna look a little bit different because I already have some classrooms set up, but you're going to hit the plus sign up here in the corner. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to create a class. Okay, and you're gonna name the class. So I can say Maseriego, and this is for YouTube, so YouTube video. Okay, um, I can put the section if I want. There's just a bunch of options here. Um, if you had a classroom, like a room number, a subject, okay, and then you're just going to hit create. And once I do that, it's going to create the class for me. Um, something else that it's going to do is it's going to give me a classroom code. It's a string of, you'll see it right here, U-D-A-P-X-R-U, that is my classroom code. So now, once you have your classroom set up, which is what you're looking at right now, okay, you're going to invite students one of two ways. You can invite them by giving them the code, and then when they log in, they're going to hit the plus sign that you saw up in the corner, and they're going to hit join and put this code in. Or what you can do is you can actually go up to people, and where it says students, you can hit the plus sign and you can type in their emails, okay? And then they'll send them um, an email with an invitation that way and they can join. Uh, personally, just from experience, and I work at the high school level, I think it's easier just to be able to give them the code and let them log in themselves. So going back to the main page here of my classroom, this is what's called the stream, okay? So right here in the stream, if I wanted to say something like, Oh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to our classroom. You know, everyone, let me know what you did, something you did this weekend. This is kind of like the equivalent of uh, your, your page on, on Facebook. So you can write something. All the students have the capacity to respond back. Okay, it's just a general area here. Um, you can choose which classes you want it to go to. So if you wanted to post something to more than one class, you can just do the drop down menu here and click classes. Okay, and also for students. So I don't have any students yet, but it would give me that option as well. Um, from here, something else that you can do is go up to classwork. This is where you're going to push your assignments. So I can go into create assignment. Okay, and there's, there's different um, options here. Obviously, you're not gonna have Nearpod. That is an extension that I downloaded personally. So it says assignment, quiz, questions. You could just post questions. You could post um, supplemental materials down here. Okay, um, and then assignments. Oh, and then here, reuse. This is actually, um, and I'm not gonna go too, too into depth with this, but reuse post is if you had posted an assignment to another class and then you decided you wanted to share it to another one, you could just go to reuse post and all of your recent assignments that you have posted will pop up and you can click it and, and assign that way too, which is nice because it helps save some time which is important for all of us. So I'm gonna to go to assignment here. Okay, you click in the title of your assignment, you click in the instructions, and then here um, you can either create, like start a new doc, and then put your instructions or whatever you want the students to do in the doc that way, or if it's something you already have created, you can go to add, and you can pull something from your Google Drive, you can um, pull a link, from, from a website if you if you want to, or a link from a YouTube video. Um, you can actually go straight to YouTube from here and, and search videos, files from your computer. It's really up to you. Um, so I'm just going to write test here. Okay, instructions, complete, exam. Okay, um, now I'm just gonna add some random file just so you can see what I mean. So here, um, here, I'm just gonna put this. Okay, so here, I added my, my documents. And then something that you're gonna wanna do is over here, if, you, if it's just a file you want the students to view and they're not gonna do anything to it, you can leave it as this. Um, if you want them to be able to edit the file and it's just one file that everyone's gonna be sharing, you can do students can edit file. However, if it's something where you're gonna want each student to do their own work, you're gonna to wanna to remember to make a copy for each student. This way, each student has their own copy of the document and is able to work in it without the others seeing their responses. And then from here, if you wanna set up a due date, you can do that. Um, there's an option for rubric. These are like 
these would be like in another video that I would explain. Um, and then you're gonna come up to the top and you're going to hit assign. Um, if you want to assign assignments in advance, watch my video on how to schedule assignments because that will also save you a lot of time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit assign and then you're going to see that the next page that pops up under classwork here, this is the only assignment that I've posted. So this is where you will see all of the assignments. Okay, and then again, people, you can go into grades. There's not gonna be any grades because this is a brand new class, but this is something you can play around with once you, you have it set up. But basically this is all you need to know to get your YouTube, I'm sorry, your YouTube, I'm reading from the screen. This is all you need to get your Google Classroom up and running. Okay, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my future videos. Thanks for watching everyone.